What's up, my friends? My name's Eric. Today, I'm going to be continuing my week of checking out some of the most impactful uncommons we saw at Pro Tour Shadows over Innistrad. Today's card is Transgress the Mind. One in a black. It's a sorcery with Devoid. Target player reveals his or her hand. You choose a card from it with convert mana cost three or greater and exile that card. This card, I have three main points for it. I'll, I'll give them all rapid fire and I'll go into an explanation on them. One, you get to see their hand. Two, choose a card with converted mana cost three or greater. Not just a creature, not just an instant or sorcery, a card. And three, exile. Yes. Exile's always sweet, because you don't ever have to deal with it again. It's very rare to see an exiled card come back. Before we had the ingesting thing going on, and the processors, we didn't see things come back from exile at all, ever, really. But, that's not the point we're talking about. This one, not the processors, not the ingesters. We're talking about transgress the mind. I like it a lot, because... One in a black, you get to look at their hand, and you get to pick out something that costs three or greater. That's pretty nice. The only thing that I think really tops that is Thoughtseize for one black and two life. You get to look at their hand and take out any non-land card. I believe it was any non-land card. So you got to see their hand again, and it cost one black. It was an excellent turn one play. I mean, there are people that make the, the joke, uh, like top and go, or uh, turn one Thoughtseize. It's, it's a common phrase, you know. Transgress of the Mind is an excellent turn two piece of removal. You get to see what they're planning. You can take out, especially against combo decks, because combo decks, most likely, they're not going to be, not all of their pieces are going to cost less than three. So it's very nice to be able to take it out and not only just put it in the graveyard, exile the damn thing. We don't want to deal with it. They can get more, but still, you exile the one they had now, could buy you some time. I really like how you get to take out something that costs three or greater in this format, because Standard is not always about big things, but the current standard with the Eldrazi, I don't know how much standard play they see with Shadows of Innistrad having been released, but with the Eldrazi in standard, it's kind of nice to see that we can pick out something, and if people are still playing the Eldrazi, mainly Eldrazi themed decks, this is definitely a great piece because it'll take out, what, 80% of their deck, something like that? I don't know, I don't see people playing Eldrazi right now it's all about you know uh bant company and uh, a few uh jund company companies really collected companies everywhere it's a really good card check it out uh but this is something i really like and so i'm gonna have to say for a draft it gets a three because in draft if you can pick out their one of their big threats it, it's amazing because it's draft you how many threats do you really get in a draft i think five is a good amount of draft, uh, uh, threats to draft. That's kind of high, I think. I think the average person gets three or four threats in draft, and then, you know, if they lose those, they kind of try to make do with the other things they got. But if you can take out one of their main threats, that's a very sweet card. Standard, another three, because same reason, except it's standard. So, you know, they're going to have more threats, you'll always, almost always have a target for it. I like it a lot. And you, again, you can see their hand, and information is valuable in any game. Magic, very, very valuable, just to know what's in their hand. That's why you always see people with their thought sees, or anything that listen, look at the opponent's hand, they write it down. They want to keep track of what they have in their hand. It's, information is so valuable. Modern, I'm going to give it a 2.5, though, because uh, maybe a dedicated hand destruction deck will play it with Thoughtseize, but I think you'd rather just play Thoughtseize over this uh, if you're going to be playing one set of cards. If you're going to look at more than one, Thoughtseize, and then maybe this one, maybe you go a different direction that, mm, I don't know. I, I think this would be a fine pick for Modern, though, uh, if you're focused on hand destruction. Uh, EDH a 1.5. Hand destruction's not really a thing in EDH, so I don't want to give it a 1, which would be the lowest rating, but, I mean, you know... I've never seen anybody play a card like this or Thoughtseize or anything else like this in EDH. I just don't think it's something that anybody does. But that's what I have to say about Transgress the Mind. If you got a different opinion, I'd like to hear it down below. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you get those updates when I put these things out. It's every single weekday. Hopefully nothing happens, but I will try to do them every single weekday. Uh, check out past reviews if you want to hear some other things I have to say. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time.